to play hard 100% of the time. Everything you do is important. Great job. She'll be here. Yeah, basically. Oh my God! Wait, who is this again? What year did you graduate? I forget. Like three years ago. Never. So when I first got to the University of Michigan, um, you know, I my vision was to try to build a program that was consistent year in and year out. For her to be the first player um, drafted in, in quite a long time for the University of Michigan, I just think speaks volumes to obviously Nas and her commitment to improvement and development and working and getting better. She really broke so many barriers, I think, for just even Michigan women's basketball, not only as a team, but as an individual. Not a lot of people saw um, the things she kind of advocated for, spoke up about, and then just the way she treated her teammates and, you know, those surrounding her, I think that's what also makes her, you know, even more special than a lot of people can see. It just kind of gave me the chills, like being able to like watch her and then she made history. Now I know what it's like and I know what you have to do to get there. I think with anything, like representation matters. So if the girls who are here now or the girls who want to commit here, they see, okay, I'm able to achieve that, you know, because Nas has. I mean, it's awesome for me because I feel like, you know, being a trailblazer in anything is just amazing. And I feel like we've been able to see that throughout my years. Like, okay, we got to the tournament. Now, how do we make it to the next round and the next round? And I feel like that's just been the progression the entire time that I've been here of being the first and then hopefully people continue to do it. So it's the seconds and the thirds. and. To the point where it's not like, oh, a Michigan player is in the WNBA, but now it's like, how many are we counting? If you come to the University of Michigan, you are going to be developed and you are going to have an opportunity to continue to play basketball and continue to play at the next level and continue to play in the W. And she is proof. Leah Brown, Leah Brown, Leah Brown. She has always inspired me and her confidence, she just brings a different type of confidence. That confidence just makes everyone around her better. I think ultimately the biggest goal is I want to get drafted to the WNBA. Whatever team that is, whatever round that is, I think that's always been a dream of mine growing up is you know to be successful at that level and just play and be a part of some of the greats that are there. First of all, I want to, you know, be remembered more than just a basketball player. I think it's really important to kind of be a good role model for, for those little girls, you know, that I was once growing up. I watch her, I study, like, everything about her. Like, she's, she's going to be great. If anybody hasn't seen Leah Brown play, you need to turn on your television or you need to get to Chrysler Arena because she is arguably the best guard in the country. country. She has just been dynamic, a spark, a competitive fire that is unmatched, a guard that will certainly play in the W. 
Um, I want people to look back and just kind of just see how special that our team is and how special what we've done so far has been. What I challenge you with on this end, because we really need to get better on this end, okay, a lot of it is effort, but a lot of it is this too. If something happened to me once, I'm going to try my best not to let it happen to me again. But if it happens two, three, four times, like I need to be able to make an adjustment and I need to be able to understand what's coming. I think we definitely took positive steps today, okay, definite positive steps, but it's putting things together and it's effort. Effort physically, effort mentally. Physically, mentally. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Here we go, hard work on three, one, two, three, hard work.